Today, it is celebrating a great night of the year, that is bonfire night, or in fact, any night in autumn where you're wrapped up warm and you've got a fire going, this is the recipe for you. S'mores. S'mores are delicious, sandwiched, chocolate, marshmallow, you calm down now. Digestives, well actually in America, graham crackers. A s'more is a very much an individual thing. We want to do a sharing s'more. So I found a great little idea, s'mores dip. A chocolatey marshmallow dip that you can serve up with fruit kebabs or, or your digestive biscuits or your graham crackers and dip in and everyone shares it and everyone has a wonderful lovely time. How nice is that? Should we get cooking? So I've got a bain-marie going on here. The reason I've got a bain-marie is because we don't want this to cook too vigorously. To that, I'm going to add 200 grams of milk chocolate. Straight in the bowl, straight in the bowl. I've then got loads of these gorgeous little mini marshmallows. And I've got 300 grams of these. I'm gonna put about 250 into here. We basically want, in fact, easy way to do it, is I want to be able to put a layer on top of our schmores. So let's just measure that out and check the rest in here. Oh no, did I lose one? No, oh yeah I did. Sad. And two tablespoons of milk, or essentially enough milk to kind of loosen it down and for you to get that ganache consistency. And a little touch that I like to do. I'm salt bay, should I do it? <laughs> that is it, isn't it? I don't know, but it definitely didn't go in the bowl. We're just gonna stir it all together. So you've got this really silky, quite gelatinous, gloopy chocolate dip, which is what you want because when you dip your look how it holds onto the spatula, when it when you dip your biscuit in. You want to make sure you get a good mouthful. Now that it's beautifully combined, I'm going to just add in a few extra special ingredients in the form of some festive spices. I'm going to put a pinch of cinnamon in there, and a little, little teeny pinch of ginger, teeny pinch of nutmeg, teeny pinch of cloves. Look how glossy. Smells like bonfire. Right, now it is time to decant it into your serving dish. And I've actually got this one because it looks appropriately campfire-esque. Isn't that nice? Yeah, yeah. It looks like angel delight. Make sure it's nice and evenly coated. And then we're gonna top it with our marshmallows. And then this is gonna go under your grill until you start to see those marshmallows go beautifully toasted and golden, like the best campfire marshmallows that you've ever tried. Yeah! Look at it! Oh, I love it! Right. I gave Tom Dale one job. I said, can you pick me up a packet of digestives, Tom? If nobody knows who Tom is, probably the best vlog to show you will be this one. What? Oh, no. I'm going, I'm going to spread the weight, right? Spread the... Oh, oh no. Tom Dale! Those are rich teas, boy. That's not a digestive. God, you're lucky, you're lovely. Should we go in for a dip? You ready for this? Bring that out at your bonfire party and you're going to have everyone tucking into that, guaranteed. What a winner. What a lovely little naughty treat. Great for the kids and the adults. Guys, if you like this recipe, then please make sure you subscribe. I'm here every single Tuesday. I've got marshmallow and cheese. And have yourself a really wonderful bonfire night. Happy 5th of November. Remember, remember. Oh my god, it's so naughty, but it's so good. <laughs>